nostalgic feel. You we know get to I mean? look at gameplay right now. It's it's. I love. It, it reminds me of a uh, Dragon Quest, the the animation style. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is obviously we're looking at um, some footage from. Uh, there's a demo right now you can play on the show floor if you're here at PAX. Uh, we're looking at a iconic scene from the original version of the of the game. The opening scene. The opening scene. Yep, yep. With Elliot and his friend telling Randy, uh, "You're you shouldn't be here." Uh, and why you're such a scary cat. <laughs> <laughs> so how has this game changed from the original beyond the way that it looks? Yeah, so obviously yeah, beyond the way that it looks 3D, it's a 3D remake of the original version. Um, there are some definite changes to it. Uh, the, there is voice acting. Obviously, you can hear them talking now. Um, you, can, uh, you can hear their expressions. Um, and I think uh, there is newly rearranged music. Um, it's newly rearranged, but it also still pays tribute to the original version of the game. Oh, great. The producers really wanted to make sure that um, when they remade it, that uh, the fans would be, the, er, the fans of the original game would be happy as well, um, because he himself is a fan of the original game. Mm -hmm. So with that in mind, he wanted to make sure that everything that he made, everything that he uh, touched made a uh, was paying tribute to the original version and is faithful to the original. Game. That mini map is awesome because that's pretty much the game. Yeah, yeah, I think you'll notice. Yeah, the mini map is actually a the the old version of the game. Is like, it? I thought it might be. It looks it exactly is. like that's amazing. Yep, yep. A lot of people have caught that, um, and it's uh, you know. It I mean, it's a great shout out to the original, right? Exactly. You don't really necessarily need a mini map in it, but. Actually, there's been a lot of people um, talking about, beneficial. oh, I'm so happy that there's actually a mini-map on the screen now, and it's, the fact that it's a callback to the original just makes them... Yeah, that's but, true. But it's so visibly Secret of Mana. Yeah. I mean, even in this newly reworked style, it's amazing how, how well I recognize where I'm walking already from the old version. So that's pretty amazing. Yeah, everything about it, you know, uh, there's nothing... The story, the gameplay is all the same from the original version, yeah. just, you know, in 3D. So one of my favorite things about Secret of Man, I'm actually playing it right now. I got to do a presentation with Square Enix a week and a half ago. So I started playing the game because I, I watched my big sister play it back then. I was only three yeah. years old when the game came out. Did you do local co-op? Play with no, I didn't because I was, she was not going to give me a controller. Oh, no. <laughs> but she that's was that type I, of sister. That's what I wanted to ask. It's yeah. still going to be local co-op. That was so important with this yes. game. It was the, the synergy because... Now doing it as a solo player, it's kind of difficult. There's a, a lot of key hits where if you hit the mob, mm -hmm. they'll stutter. You can't damage them until you do it again. But working with other people, yeah. you have a lot of better coordination. That, so yes, there is going to be local co-op. Um, you'll be able to play with up to two other people, uh, up to three players. And uh, you know, I, I grew up playing the game. Everything for this game is coming kind of full circle, full circle for me because I played the game local co-op with my dad when I was growing up. Oh, cool. So, yeah, and he was always yelling at me, making sure I was Of doing course. Things, so. Who did you get to play? Uh, I was Pope Boy. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So you were the damage dealer. You were the one that did the burst damage I with was, the magic. I was. Are the, the spells and the, uh, I don't want to call them summons. What do they call them? Uh, I'm not sure, not sure. The spirits or whatever, you get like eight yeah. of them, they have different types of magic abilities. Do they look the same or do they interpret the magic abilities different now? They look the same, just up and and for 3D. Oh. Yep. Oh yes, they still have the treasure chest and they still shake it. And you still get lots of candy. Uh, lots of candy, <laughs> until you need chocolate bars, right? Yep, and you see, um, you know, the iconic little enemy rabbi, cute rabbis. I don't know why you feel the mind, but they're attacking you and you have to defend yourself. So, so I do want to point out in, like the nuances of making a, a remaking a game that, uh, what was it, just came a Crash Bandicoot. It looks like a, a perfect remake of it, but a lot of people are saying that like the jump is like a few frames different, it's a little harder. Is there something like that in this game where the gameplay mechanics might be slightly different? Uh, there might be, so when uh, Oyomara-san um, took the role on to produce the new version of the game, uh, he wanted to make sure that you know some of the bugs and some of the uh, you know, harder things that the original version of the game had were fixed. You know, some of those were considered bugs, and he wanted to make sure that uh, you know the new experience uh, did not have that. So um, some things like that might be slightly changed, but uh, for the most part, the story and the gameplay are exactly like the original version. I'm curious because we're talking a lot about those who have played the game before and want to go back down nostalgia lane, but there are certainly people who have never played the game before that might play it for the first time here. If that's the case, what are those people going to find in this game and what's there for them? Uh, so, I mean, a lot of the a lot of the old school players were, you know, for me, uh, I played the original and I always always told I always told my friends about it and they're like, I, you know, I 
I heard about it, but I didn't really, it was not really for me. I'm used to more, you know, modern graphics and things like that. So they didn't really go back and play it. Right. But for, for new players of the game who want to join uh, and play this version, it's a, the exact same version of the game that their friends played. Cool. So, you know, if they they had fear of messing out on the original version, they can play this, you know, up res, 3D, and, uh, you know, the same features of the original game, like music. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and just the co-op. There's not, I mean, what other RPG is there that offers this? Uh, actually, I can't really think of one. <laughs> um, the, you know, local co-op is kind of rare nowadays, and I think, uh, you know, bringing back a game like Secret of Mana, who had it and did it really well, is, uh, you know... It wouldn't be available for online, right? No, so local. no, currently no plans for online multiplayer, but local multiplayer, yes. So sit on the couch with two of your friends and have a good time. Cool. I know a lot of other players might not have cared about this, but I love the fact that when you level, you collect the orbs, you level up the weapons, they actually look different. They have different names. They do. Does he actually hold so, different weapons when he upgrades them? Yeah, so uh, you can see when you pull the sword, it looks like a, bra a, a brown, bronze Bronze sword. Rusty looking sword, but that will change, you know, as you progress. What is it, Excalibur, I think, is the final form of it? Uh, I believe so. Okay, I, I'm like one orb away right now on Excalibur. <laughs> I'm in, uh, what is it, Empire City or Imperial City? So you can see it there, and then when this comes out in February, this is the new version. Oh, I know. I'm going to beat the game, and then once it comes out, I'm going to yeah. play it and beat it again. Yeah. I think also what's uh, what's important to note is the music. So Kikuta-san, he actually did the original. Uh, he was the composer for the original Superman. Oh, wow. He came back and made sure that, um, you know, he was asked to do a new uh, a new score for the game. Mm -hmm. uh, but he, it, was, it still should have been, it still should be the original music. I mean, so, I can hear it right now. It yeah. sounds like the original music. It sounds music. like the original, but there's slight differences. And... The way that he went about it was he was asked to do it and he wanted to make sure that there were slight differences. Um, like when you hear it and you play the original, that uh, there's it, it would it wouldn't it wouldn't exactly meet your expectation, but it would mm. it would uh, it would improve the the music for our, for original fans. So it'll right. give you the nostalgia, but also something else. Exactly, yeah. And to anyone that has never played Secret of Mana before, don't, I mean, it, it's such an amazing game. It has such a classic story with classic uh, um, messages spread across of it. And a lot of people might look at that and see it as being a little, uh, a little green, a little maybe like, uh, God, I don't want to say immature, but by playing this game, I kind of had the same impression. Yeah. And when I learned it, I realized how complex it was, how difficult the combat is. Yeah. Defeating Spiky Tiger was really hard. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's still pretty hard. I've actually been there, and he's actually pretty hard still. So, but yeah, I mean, that's actually a good point because uh, the, that's that was the original game. It was a little lighthearted. It was it wasn't exactly a Final Fantasy, you know, because uh, because it wasn't a Final Fantasy. They had some liberties to do things like. You know, you can meet Santa Claus in the game, and you can do things like that. And Rudolph. And yeah, and the, and the shop dancers, you know, dance at you when they're trying to sell you good. <laughs> yeah. Like that. So it was very lighthearted, and it wasn't exactly immature, but it was more, it's more happy. It was like it was a high fantasy. You know what I mean? Uh, um, there's also DLC. There is DLC. So I saw, if you saw at the end of the trailer, uh, if you pre-order the game, you can uh, on PSN or Steam, you can get cool little outfits for your wow. team. So one of them is actually a Moogle suit, which you know is a call to Final Fantasy, and also uh, a, a tiger suit. The tiger suit is actually what they wear in the game. I yeah. think it's it's not the final like armor that you can wear, but there's the tiger bikini and then the tiger suits for tiger the sprite. Suit? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But they're all they all look like onesies and they're all very cute. They're so cute. Yeah. Are those the only DLC that's planned for this game, or is there plans to do more? There might be future plans. Yes. Purely aesthetic. Purely aesthetic. And secret amount of too. Awesome. We'll see. I mean, uh, yeah, Psychic so Densetsu 3 is actually one of the um, one of the fan favorites, and they they would be highly they would be highly anticipated. But that's not happening right now. I was so fortunate that if you die in this, that you get rezzed constantly, because I was just so <laughs> unaware of how the combat's supposed to work in this first like really big combat. I just died over and over and over again. Yeah, I think key is. I mean, people on the floor are playing it right now, and they're kind of learning too. Uh, the key is to stay away from him when he lands because he does acid breath moves. Yep. I wasn't even aware. <laughs> I had to have someone from Square Enix show me that you can charge up a move yeah. beyond 100% yep. to where it has to be like level 1, 2, 3, however hard, uh, fi uh, high up the weapon is. Yeah, exactly. I like, there's so many mechanics that I didn't know that I like had to learn with it. It's, yeah. it's really is a complex game. It's I not a very it, simple game. Exactly, and I think it was a complex game.